Hey guys, this is Non Lammers from Invoked 101. Welcome back, and today we're going to be taking a look at my updated Vehicroid deck profile. Now, I know it's been a minute uh, since I've actually put something up. I know that uh, it's probably going to sound a little different in here. That's because we don't have everything set up yet for the new spot, and I swear once we get everything set up for the new recording spot, then I will show that off to you. But for right now, we're just going to take it pretty easy with a vehicular deck profile because this deck is finally back at its full power um, aside from terraforming. So uh, before we get into it, down in the description below, if you feel like supporting the channel, we have a few different links. We have our Teespring, we have the Your Playmat, which will give you 10% uh, off at checkout if you use my code INVOKED10YP. Uh, uh, you could use that and then there's also just a straight up link down there that you can use. Um, as well as joining the Discord. With that said, I'm going to set the spells and traps and extra deck off to the side, and we're going to get right to the main deck monsters. Starting us off, we have my personal favorite for Hikroid, which is Mixeroid, or I guess one of my favorite ones. He is the newest Roid main deck monster, aside from, I think there's one coming out soon, but it's not really a Vehicroid card. It's more so for Cyberdarks. Um, for that cyber structure deck that's coming out. Mixeroid is really cool. He has the effect of you contribute one machine monster, special summon a non-wind roid monster from your deck. Um, you can pay, and then you can pay half your life points and banish any number of machine monsters from your graveyard, including this card. Special summon from your extra deck one roid fusion monster with the same level as the number of those banished monsters, ignoring summoning conditions, but destroy it during the end phase. Uh, you can only use each effect of Mixeroid once per turn. He's also 0-22, so not only is he the biggest defender in the deck, he's also a machine dupe target. Um, being able to let you go into rank 4s and also get out the big guy, uh, Armoroid. He's one of the few Vehicroids we actually play at 3. Next up I play 2 Steamroid. Where's my other 2 ofs? Uh, I want to show off the 2 of guys. Uh, 2 Drillroid. And then... Oh, everyone else is a three of. Okay, so then we play going with the uh, the super Vehicleroid jumbo drill route. Uh, we play three submarine roid. Uh, mine are. Can I get it to show? Yeah, there they go. Mine are mosaics. They're pretty cool. So what these three guys do? They're pretty simple. Uh, Steamroid, his effect is if this card attacks your opponent's monster, increase the attack of this card by 500 points. But if it gets attacked. Uh, decrease it by 500. Drillroid has the ability to destroy a defense position monster whenever it attacks it, ignoring damage calc, which is pretty cool. And then Submarineroid, which is my favorite one. I really like this guy. Um, his effect is that um, he can attack directly for 800, and then if it does attack directly or battles, um, you can change this card to defense position um, after it battles, which is really nice. Um, although if it does attack directly, you have to use its original attack, which kind of sucks, but at the same time, there's a way around that. Vehicroids kind of have a built-in way around that. Um, after that, we play for our one ofs one Armoroid to tribute uh, and summon off of the uh, Mixeroid. He's just the biggest main deck one that we can summon, which is why we play that. We also play one Gyroid. Um, this is for in case we have to hard make one of the fusions in our extra deck. Um, you can use uh, Gyroid and Steamroid to do that. Then I play three Expressroid to get back uh, our Vehicroids. And Expressroid combos well enough with Ambulance Roid, which is pretty cool. Um, so, uh, Ambulance Roid says when a Roid monster is added from the graveyard to your hand, you can special summon that monster. Um, that is not once per turn, so if you add two off Expressroid, you can special summon both. Pretty cool. And then the last monster that we play is one King of the Swamp, mainly for the poly search, but also because all the Vehicroid fusions specifically name stuff, and this uh, can replace a fusion material. So we don't have to play some of the bad roids, we can just play this. Um, even though, <laughs> even though kind of all the roids are bad, all the Vehicroids are kind of terrible. Except for Mixeroid and, and Submarineroid, they're pretty alright. Um, alright. After that, we have the spell cards. Um, we have three Megaroid City. This is what I was talking about whenever I said we can get around the uh, original attack thing. So Megaroid City is kind of insane. It says you can target one other card to control, destroy it, and if you do, add one Roid card from deck to hand. Then it says during damage calc, 
Uh, if your Roid Monster battles, you can send one Roid Monster from your deck to the graveyard and switch the original attack and defense of that monster um, during damage calc only. And then it says uh, you can only use each effect once per turn. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except fusion monsters um, during the turn you activated either of these effects. So uh, it is a Dragonic Diagram and a Weapon Change, I think is the, uh, the card. Uh, of course, we're playing one Terraformer to go with that because this card is very much necessary for the strategy. Um, I'm playing two Vehicroid Connection Zone. This card can search this. Um, Vehicroid Connection Zone is insane. Um, the long and short of it is that you fusion summon one Vehicroid Fusion Monster. Um, so, you know, only really the Super Vehicroids. But that monster's... what is it? It's the... Uh, the fusion monster cannot be destroyed by spells, traps, or monster effects, and its effects cannot be negated. So it's a really good fusion spell, but like it doesn't summon a lot of stuff, um, unfortunately. Then I'm playing Triple Machine Dupe. Uh, this is for Ambulance Roid, for Mixer Roid mainly, and also for Express Roid. Then, this is the card that brought the deck back to full power, and it's kind of expensive for the strategy. Two Ready Fusion. Ready Fusion's uh, set is instant fusion, except it's a level six or lower non-effect monster instead of just a level five or lower fusion monster. Ready Fusion, and thank God Roids had one, <laughs> um, which was a Steam Gyroid. Because if you remember the original way that Vehicroids played was that you would use instant fusion, summon Parasycroid, and then make mobile base. This now allows us to summon Steam Gyroid, make mobile base. So yeah. Um, Ready Fusion into Steam Gyro right into Mobile Base. Uh, and we still do play the Instant Fusion. Instant Fusion is still worth it in this deck, especially if you don't have three Ready Fusion, because I want to. I'm still just playing the three. Um, but you could actually play four now because you have three Ready Fusion and the Instant Fusion, so we can actually be slightly more consistent. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm playing. I think that's. It's insane. I, I love that that came out. Uh, then I'm playing two Polymerization because it does come up. And that's it. That is it for the uh, Vehicroids, or the Vehicroids Spells and Traps. Um, yeah, Ready Fusion was, I saw that that card came out, and I was like, yeah, Vehicroids, we can play them again. And even though I never play this deck. Um, then, for our traps, we're playing Triple Emergeroid Call, because this trap card is insane as a counter trap. It says, when a spell trap or monster effect is activated, while you control a Roid Fusion monster, negate the activation, then send all cards the same name as that card from the activating player's deck and extra deck to the graveyard. So it doesn't negate and destroy, but it gets rid of all the other copies, which is pretty insane. Um... Uh, from, from deck and extra. And then it says you can banish this card from the graveyard, target a roid monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. So, that's pretty nuts. Then I'm playing three Roid Pot of Greed, uh, Supercharge. When your opponent declares an attack while you only control machine-type roids, draw two cards. And the last one I'm playing is Chain Material. Uh, chain Material lets you use fusion materials from the deck. So what you can do is you can activate Chain Material, activate Connection Zone, and then because the monster can't be destroyed by the effects of spells or traps, Chain Material would destroy it because it destroys the monster it summons. Uh, but then you get to use their materials from the deck and Connection Zone protects it. It's the same way that Destiny Hero players were using uh, Defusion way back when uh, with this card. And if you want to bump this to more, this card is pretty old. I think it only has one or two printings and they're both pretty old. Um, uh, like, I've thought about bumping this to more, uh, but that's... You know, it's, it's up to player preference. And my camera is starting to die, so I'm going to run right through these. Um, we have two Super Vicar Jumbo Drill. This is the main boss monster that I go for. Um, typically has piercing, is 3k, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, then I'm still playing two Parasycroid, which is the uh, uh, direct attacker for 16. He does come up, especially with the machine dupe stuff. You can open polymerization, machine dupe, and like Oroid that you can machine dupe. Just make this. Pretty nice. Um, of course... The new boy, two steam gyroid, two steam gyroid. Of course, I already mentioned this is for ready fusion because it's a level six non-effect fusion monster. Uh, two mobile base uh, because mobile base is the main boss monster. You sit on this, you start summoning out parasycroids, you start swinging directly. Pretty good guy, pretty good guy. And then the stuff that we almost never summon is barbaroid, which would be the boss monster because it can attack like four, four times or something like that. Uh, this card can make a second attack during each battle phase, cannot attack your opponent directly. After damage calc, if this card attacks the opponent's monster, negate the effects of the monster. 
uh, it destroys and post monster by battle, inflict a thousand damage. So yeah, pretty insane card. Uh, then we also have one Stealth Union, which Stealth Union would be really good. He's a four piece fusion, which sucks. But uh, with chain material, he would be really good because he needs Truck Roid, Express Roid, Drill Roid, and Stealth Roid, uh, which we could use um, the, what's it called? The King of the Swamp for that last bit. But then um, he, if he attacks, his attack is halved, um, which really sucks because <laughs> he goes down to like 18. It's really bad. And then one Ambulance Rescue Roid. This is another level six fusion, except it has the combined effects of Ambulance and Rescue Roid. Uh, it says the monster cannot be special summoned except by fusion summon once per turn with a monster on your side of the field is destroyed by battle and sets the graveyard you can special summon that monster in defense position and that is a once per turn um, which really sucks because the other two the two materials that go into this are once per turn so it's actually like a worse version of the uh, ambulance rescue roid combo um, but that's it that is that is the Vehicroid deck. It is still just as kind of janky, goofy, and slow as it always has been. But Ready Fusion definitely gives it back the little piece that it was missing. It allows the deck to go back to what it was doing because this deck was very much clearly designed with Instant Fusion in, in mind. And now that we have Ready Fusion, um, which is somewhat more balanced, I guess, than Instant Fusion, um, the deck can now once again play at its full power. Aside from you know, not always having Megaroid City. If we could get a, a, a way to search Megaroid City, uh, I feel like that'd be the best thing. Like if that, dra I think it's, it's Dragonroid. If that has an effect that I just forgot and maybe it is really good for Vehicroids, then that's gonna be awesome. But uh, as far as I know right now, it doesn't. So that really sucks. But let me know what you guys thought about this deck in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.